Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Part <laughs> pardon the lighting. I'm just a weirdo in a parking lot hanging out with a uh, studio lighting inside my uh, vehicle. Uh, it's a little early, a little dark. I'm at a Target parking lot, like a total dork. Uh, but I thought I'd bring you a video before I film this video before it gets light outside. Um, and it's from the Daily Dot, and it's very interesting. Uh, it's essentially it says this. I literally sat under my desk and cried. Worker says employees are required to come into the office twice a week for quote unquote company culture. She's the only one there. And then the next quote, they want us to drive to work on a and work on a computer, like a real one that plugs into the wall that is big. And there's a lot going on here. Guys, we're going to break this down. There are companies like crazy calling their employees back and people are upset to the point where they are literally crying on TikTok. This girl actually made a TikTok filming how lonely it was in this big empty office and she was crying rather than saying, hey, I'm the only one here. I might be able to move up to management or <laughs> run this company because I'm showing my desire to be here. Um, it's just, I guess, more important to make a video of you crying. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Ninja's done that too, but not because I had to go to work. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I have. <laughs> All right. So look, guys, here's the thing. The culture is changing and it's changing rapidly. And right now people do not want to work. Employees are very hard to come by. Um, if you have them at all, it it is becoming harder and harder to find new qualified people to work. There are a lot of people on the government dole right now saying, I'm done, I'm checked out. You know, everything closing down a couple of years ago pretty much showed me a whole new way of life. And there's a whole new hustle culture out there, which that part I like. If people are starting businesses, I think it's the most important time in history to start a business. That's why I started that side hustle course because first off, people need to know all the pitfalls of starting a side hustle, especially my, the way I teach is start with cash, start small, grow, 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 and own everything, not be in debt. The system wants people to start businesses and be in debt and that will screw you every time. I saw a comment the other day from someone that said, I literally just lost $60,000 because I started a business with another partner. I put it all on my credit cards. That guy bailed and now I'm holding the bag. And that is sad. That's why I put out that that um, that um course, literally how to start from a garage sale and then how to end up with an LLC or a corporation doing it methodically. But now here you've got, this is going to have so much repercussions on the real economy. And I'll give you an example why it says right here. And I'm going to link the story below so you guys can read it yourself. But it, think about this. It talks about a lot in here about the TikTok with the girl crying, uh, talking about companies like WordPress that are successful doing everything remotely, right? And they're a big company, but not every company uh, does this kind of stuff. So it says right here, hold on, I got to find it. Sorry. It says, uh, it's been reported, CNBC reported in March that 50% of companies want workers back in the office five days a week. However, there are many analysts who've speculated that this could ultimately be bad, be a bad idea. That's because 57% of workers are looking for fully remote jobs. And there are even larger number of people who would like a hybrid option as well. Then there are the practical benefits of having remote position businesses. Um, hold on, the way they were this word. Then there are practical benefits to having remote position positions businesses are missing out on by demand their workers return to the office. Having a larger staff in office at all times means that there needs to be more space and resources to accommodate them. Let me stop right there. That's not true. The companies that be, went from in office full time before everything shut down to remote still have those offices. Most companies did not release those offices. Why? They had long term leases or they'd own these businesses. So they have corresponding uh, expenses with those businesses. So they're spent, they're, you know, they're paying it regardless. They might as well have the employees there to be able to work on new ideas, be inventive. What, one thing people don't understand is that uh, human ingenuity, human, the human spirit, the human, um, the ideas that come out of the human brain are best when they are around other human beings. When you collaborate, when you are a team, that is when you get the best out of the human experience. It is very rare that you see the best out of the human experience when it is someone solo. And a lot of companies know this. They spend a lot of money on research and development, human resources, things like that to understand those concepts. That's what separates a, a business that's out huge, crushing it compared to something that's failing, right? 
And there could be businesses that used to crush it and then fail because they lose their culture. And that's a very, very important aspect that you see uh, CEOs talk about all the time. Don't lose your culture. How uh, amazing it is to hold on to a culture of employees that are crushing it and don't lose that perspective because if you do, you're gonna lose the business, right? So the thing is right now, we've got two types of people, people that wanna work and crush it and people that don't, quite frankly. And now those people that wanna crush it, some of them wanna go now finally go, they've tasted it. And they've tasted that freedom of being able to make your own uh, schedule and they wanna go out and do it on their own and they're starting a business. And I encourage that, highly encourage that because we need to take back manufacturing that we gave away to China. We need to do that now. And there's never a better time to start a business than during a recession or a crash because that means everybody's off their game. They're all thrown off their game and prices are low and there's opportunities out there and there's always a time to rebuild. So if you start your business during a hard time, it's the best time, but you have to do it properly. And that's why I teach it where you've got to do it with cash. You've got to do it slow, methodical with savings and how to plan, how to budget and all that kind of stuff. But this is very interesting that somebody is so upset having to go back to work, being forced back to work, that they're spending, instead of time working in the empty office, they're making TikToks. Pretty interesting stuff, guys. I'm gonna link this below. I think it's amazing. I think over this next year, especially as this collapse in the economy happens worldwide, you're gonna see people even thrown off their game even more. And what's gonna really throw them off is when those government titles mint stop. That's gonna be nuts. All right, guys, that being said, coming to you from a dark vehicle in the middle of a Target parking lot, you gonna have a ninja? is out.